some more attestation and IT shop features. Uh, you might remember that from previous versions of the identity manager. There was always the issue that uh, deactivated decision makers was seen in decision structures. The reason for that is that it was a, a person entry somewhere in a view like PWO helper PWO and attestation helper. Both are responsible to show decision makers for specific decisions. And in version 8, first time, we just exclude now deactivated people. Deactivated people are people with the person is in active flag set to 1. This will have two effects. The first effect is the effect we just think about. That means these inactive decision makers will get excluded directly out of approval groups. And additionally to that, and this is important as well, all of these approval processes we are talking about gets automatically aborted if the excluded decision maker was the last decision maker in the list of decision makers could do this decision. A new pretty interesting behavior is as well the behavior that we reintegrated into the system, the capability that decision makers are now able to attest for themselves. Remember in the past in the identity manager, it is not possible that a person with cases to attest is able to attest their own cases. That means if I am part of an attestation case, I am not able to attest my own attestation case, which makes normally sense. But there are as well exceptions in the business. One of these exceptions is a typical ownership attestation because typically in an ownership attestation, I have a test that I am the owner of a specific resource. This was not possible in the past. And so we reintegrated into the product a way that on the decision step level, there is a new flag, ignore no decide for person. And if I set that flag, then I'm able in this step as a person who is responsible to attest something where I am the owner or where I am affected. One more in the past, when an approval process was going through and some people was just doing some decisions, I was able in the history to see these people. This is a feature we have since a while, but the main problem with that was that if there was a decision maker on the basis of a delegation doing the decision, this was not flagged. That means it was not visible. So I was able to see the decision maker, but unfortunately not that this decision maker is doing that on behalf of a delegation. And with the new version 8 in the Identity Manager, we integrated a new flag and this flag is for delegation. It's now used just to point out that this decision maker is doing that on behalf of a delegation. And with that, a delegated decision is visible now. Up to version 7 in the Identity Manager, please remember we was able in the web portal to see all pending approvers. But unfortunately, these all pending approvers was only affecting the direct pending approvers. That means the pending approvers just directly out of the workflow. All indirect depending approvers, for example, coming out of these chief or optional approver groups or something like that, was not shown in this specific pending approver view. Since version 8, these people are now included as well. And with that, you see now in reality the total set of approvers.